my name is Isaac. I'm going to be uh, your host today. Um, I would like to talk on um, the topic, um, how to create a revenue. So today's podcast um, is a little different from the previous because I'm changing the narrative and talking about how to create a revenue. Now, when choosing the title or topic, I was thinking of the best name to choose. And while picking, I decided to plainly call it how to create a revenue as opposed to how to create an income, the Christian way, or you get the drift. I would also like to mention that for those of you who see this content early are blessed to have seen it free because soon my content will only be viewable after paying a base cost because I've already been looking into platforms, for example, Vimeo, 3D card to monetize the information I share with my viewing customers and audiences. Also for the next 31 people to share, like, and comment, you know, um, you have to say in the comment, turn up the volume, okay? And also click the link there, you know, click the link and have, um, you will be entered or you will uh, at least be a part in a 64 grand system okay so um, a five figure system earning system later at the end of the video okay and so now that we've passed the the intro um, I will mention I'll, I'll start I'll start basically um, the presentation so uh, throughout generations our grandparents and their grandparents have bought in to these these schemes and these um, things because they were able to buy their homes throughout through through these processes okay and uh, they tapped into something however um many call it different things like for instance whether you call it partner uh blessing loom uh susu um hand um there's too many of different names for what you can call it but for the sake of this video we'll stick to uh the well-known blessing loom since this is the most common and most likely um uh, name Okay, so someone you know has already mentioned it to you, one um, or one of the above mentioned. Okay, so I'm not reading the script anymore. Now I'm just gonna basically talk. Um, so base, so so now, um, like I said at the end of this video, there's going to be, um, there's going to be a link that you can um, come and see how you can be a part of the five figure system okay um it's about 64 grand involved and um yours truly is going to make it work for you okay and um so now um basically um i was just talking with you know one of my siblings and they were saying you know quote unquote um basically if there's 31 people who make the money in this whatever leveraging hierarchy system then you know basically like 10 people survive out of the 31 because the 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 the, 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 the I guess the remaining 20 or 21 will either die in the process or something but um, I, I I found that to be some feedback that I I got for whatever opinion my sibling had, but um, no doubt for me I see it as first a community, okay. And knowing me, I love communities. I love to um, to grow and build, and so I like talking about the Millennium Kingdom. I like sharing 
information with my audiences okay but the thing is is that at some point I should make it into a business first mindset because in the end 95% of businesses do not pass the first two years okay so that is why I'm I'm trying to change the narrative I'm trying to focus on selling like crazy okay or you know basically doing something in regarding to revenue stream okay and um, I don't think I'm wrong for thinking like this I think that every system every business every product every uh, marketer you know they have a mindset of trying to make what they're putting out there survive you know and so I want the Millennium Kingdom concept or startup that I've come up with to survive and to strive and so I have to think differently I have to think of how I can bring this to a a uh, you know like a a million or billion dollar idea you know and so uh, I I recently uh, did a uh, I, I on on uh, on one of the platforms like Fiverr or one of them I can't remember I did a business plan and you know um, I would like to actually um, share with you uh, what this business plan consists of okay I don't have a lot of time right now but uh, I'm gonna see what I can get to share with you um, briefly um, so um, so that uh, yeah so the business plan um, document okay okay so I'm gonna put it up now all right so business plan questionnaire name of the company I named the company the Millennium Kingdom LLC um, the website address is currently the Millennium Kingdom org and uh, the phone number um, I'll just say it uh, one four three eight seven nine seven seven nine six five and um, what is the name of your product service or how does it work okay so it's under the category of ministries of religion the goal of this business is to plant churches and hold services on the weekends while also holding fundraising events all year round could be a car wash or a banquet also conference like convention um, what are the names of um, the business the industry does your business belong to so in this category it can be like a nonprofit 501c and right now um, I guess I'm the chairman of um, the board of direct the board uh, the, the members board I'm the chairman and um, soon I will recruit you know treasurer and um, you know uh, different members of the board uh, tell me four main cities your business is targeting so the business is targeting Canada or I should say Toronto Ontario Montreal Quebec um, it's targeting um, the United States um, New York US um, London United Kingdom UK uh, Israel so what is the reason behind your starting you starting your business include your mission statement um, okay so our mission is to be a Christ-centered ministry that reaches out through the gospel and by touching families hearts at a time what is your vision statement the Millennium Kingdom is is visioning that every each and every decade or every time you approach a decade 
we would have planted 50 plus churches okay and where are you located uh, geolocation your business address so we are located in Canada what or who is the competition in your industry now I named some serious entities because there's a lot of them actually in the Christian uh, community so the first one I name is Seventh-day Adventist I also named um, Catholic Church Religion and uh, Jehovah Witness what is your business objective or businesses objective in the span of five years and I said to increase brand awareness increase size of business capture market share and improve on members and customer services and um, I guess if you're if using a website describe your e-commerce platform and also send us your website address well um, for now um, I, I believe that the Millennium Kingdom org is the website address and it will probably be an e-commerce e-commerce um, kind of website um, format so um, if I use something like 3d card or Vimeo or whatever other platforms there are out there yeah that would be uh, what I what, what, what would be done what is the level of experience you have in this industry so um, I have an associate level of experience so around three to four years um, yeah that's that's pretty much it uh, or I should say like you know basically this idea has been around for three to four years or, or more I think a little bit but it's been around for three to four years uh, provide a short biography leading up to the point you started the company so um, it was in the year 2014 that the idea and concept of a religious mystery startup first came to mind I had a plan of forming the next um, entity the next entity and stumbled on the name Millennial Kingdom and throughout the years it has changed to the Millennium Kingdom okay so um, LLC or whatever um, are you looking for an investor uh, yes and how much are you selling your product for if you answered yes so like I said guys these videos that I do for free uh, won't always be free I might put a price tag of maybe a um, thousand nine hundred ninety seven for let's say like a subscription with you know a membership and you know content and digital content okay so what is the amount of revenue you expect to generate in the first year of operation now I thought about this and I came up with um, so just shy of two million dollars um, and is this a home-based business if no how much is the rent you pay for your office structure I believe that when I do get an office structure we'll be paying a rent or a month a rent of about six thousand one hundred how much are you asking for from your investor and from my investor, I'm asking for fifty thousand um, to around maximum two hundred twenty-one thousand four hundred fifty-four dollars. Okay, and you'll see why in the, in the further down columns. So, uh, what are the costs of the monthly expenses you expect to incur? Please list them along with the cost. So, the monthly expenses. Um, so, let's say um, rent is six thousand one hundred. Um, website would be a uh, hundred dollars advertising would be a hundred dollars um, office supply would be two hundred dollars um, phone would be a hundred dollars insurance would be 150 so I'm so in, in total monthly expenses would be about six thousand seven hundred and fifty and are there any assets or liabilities that you are presently carrying loans pensions or an IRA 401ks I put non applicable for that um, when and what are the steps you plan to take to make your business a success I plan to spend on paid advertising and search engine optimization as well as email marketing and webinar presentation okay and kindly provide answers to the following how much net profit profit are you anticipating to make in your first second third fourth and fifth years so net profit in anticipated first year made will be shy of two million then the second year um, approximately three million then the third year um, after scaling and you know um, at least having a good you know uh, foundation uh, so we'll scale to 10 million and then the fourth year um, if there's a correction maybe we'll make about six million within the fourth year and then um, for the fifth plus years or for the fifth year and on we'll at least uh, 
have a a 50 million business okay model so kindly list some expenses you would occur in the course of the operation and indicate each expense with price if it is a monthly or yearly expense monthly expense or whatever of so um i put um so eighty thousand to around a yearly expense to uh uh yearly expense um nine hundred and sixty thousand maybe because you'll see more in the column below at what rate would you be offering your services and at what profit margin percentage so 20 percent net profit margin is my is the answer i put how many staff members do you have kindly give a salary scale on each staff member so the salary of the members board or the board member is going to be twenty five thousand, and the salary of the chairman um which i will i will be receiving will be ninety five thousand, while the treasurer salary would be two hundred and ninety thousand. any form of loan or investment if any kindly state and give a percentage on interest uh, owner investment and shareholder contribution okay so now we reach the um, tables of the startup so um, in requirements uh, there is 221,454 like I mentioned before so um, the legal will be $80,000 um, for the legal procedures of getting it um, you know fi fixing all the legal parts of the business um, for stationary etc 11,000 insurance 1,104 uh, rent like I mentioned before 6,100 um, for um, computers uh, 1,500 and then um, other I put 250 dollars total startup expenses 99 dollars 99,954 dollars okay uh, so um, cash required is 35,000 startup inventory 17,000 other current assets 8,000 long-term assets 61,500 total assets come up to uh, total assets come up to 121,500 and total requirements that's where I get the, the number 221,454 and now um, milestones um, this is where the business plan becomes a real plan with measurable activities instead of just a document um, so uh, milestone so January 2022 um, is where we release the roadmap uh, in the quarter two of the milestone in 2022 uh, we get website listed and um, uh, quarter three milestone of 2022 uh, we recruit funding for goals of the fundraising plan and quarter four of milestone 2022 um, we increase brand awareness increase increase business size and then uh, quarter one milestone of 2023, we launch a new building real estate project. And uh, quarter two milestone of 2023, we restructure the forming of the church building team. And then quarter three milestone of 2023, scale and tap into capturing market share. So that's um, pretty much all I needed to discuss about the business plan that I put together. Um, so uh, that is what I kind of you know try to put together um, officially and um so i want to say thank you guys for tuning in um i hope this was helpful i hope you got an understanding of the vision that i have when it comes to how to create a revenue and um in 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 in, in uh in the process of uh building um you know the prototype the millennium kingdom so that's all i'm going to share with you guys this video has been almost pretty long uh close to 25 minutes so um I will see you guys um, in the next video. All right, guys. God bless you. See you later. Don't forget what I said in the earlier video. Links, like, share, comments. All right, guys. Take care. God bless.